so today topic is calendar so what is called as a calendar so calendar means now here calendar means days and again month year century so in this calendar <coughs> days nothing but suppose you are taking the seven days contain as a one week so here now one week is equal to one week is equal to seven days so in this calendar we are initially finding the odd days here what is called as a hard day here so here hard day means when the week completed see seven days nothing but one week when the week completed remaining days are called as a odd day so here when the week completed week completed week completed remaining days remaining days are called or called so odd day so in this one <laughs> again can i express in the odd day nothing but when the week completed remaining days are called as a hard day some remaining days or suppose we call it some extra days so extra days nothing but suppose i am taking the best example and <laughs> what is the Uh, odd day here okay now suppose i am taking the nine days nine days in this nine days how many hard days are there so here nine divided by seven why i am divided by seven here so in the when the week nothing but seven days when the it is in week completed remaining days so here how many weeks are there seven ones are seven so remainder is two so this is called as a is this is called as a week week completed so this week completed this is called as a odd day now this is called as a remaining remainder is nothing but remainder so remainder two days is called as a hard day so here you are every time you are divided by 7 the remainders it will comes under remainders it will comes so here 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 7 by 7 again it will comes zero this odd days is called as a now here day now this is called as a odd day now here i am taking here zero indicate here sunday indicate always zero here one indicate monday and tuesday to wednesday thursday friday saturday six so this is the one table now in this one calendar first we are initially finding the odd days what is your odd days nothing but you can get the zero odd days that is called as a sunday suppose you can get the one monday like this and so on up to saturday now this is called as a hard day to finding the <coughs> calendars now this is the <coughs> first uh, yet how to finding the uh, remaining days or odd days now see the next <coughs> now see the best example first one is type 1 in this one so today is monday today is monday monday after after 125 days after 125 days what was the day <coughs> what is the day so this is my first type one question number one today is monday today is monday after 125 days what is the day see here the today is given so today is given now you take the today today monday 
now after how many days you want after 125 days you want so 125 divided by now 7 so 7 7 ones are 7 again 55 again 7 7 are 49 so remainder is 6 is remainder is 6 nothing but today is Monday so today is Monday Monday plus how many days is remainder 6 days so here Monday plus 6 days is equal to so you added 6 days so today is let it we take the today is Monday Monday so this is the is given Monday 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 nothing but it will comes on Sunday so this is in the <coughs> now type one today is Monday after the question is asking the when asking the after are two days or 120 days or 125 days you take now like this today is what is the day then again you find out the remainder now then remainder should be added the <coughs> added this one so Monday plus six days is equal to Sunday suppose in the <coughs> same example I am taking the type one method now this is Now here again today is Monday, today is Monday, so 85 days, 85 days ago, 85 days ago what was the day, what was the day, so today is Monday, 85 days ago what was the day, so here now again <coughs> take the now suppose same now again today is given the Monday today so Monday again I want 85 days back back nothing but again 85 divided by 7 7 ones are 7 again 15 7 twos are 14 remainder is 1 so this is ago the question is asking ago now what is it today today is Monday minus here minus why I am taking here minus I am asking the question in 85 days ago so that's why now you Monday minus 1 is equal to now Sunday so Monday nothing but this is the this given is a Monday so here this given this given Monday so back one day that nothing but back one day nothing but Sunday now this is the type 1 question when the given today or suppose the question is the after tomorrow is given or tomorrow is given same procedure will be <coughs> coming see here one more example now day after tomorrow now day after tomorrow day after tomorrow tomorrow is day after day after tomorrow is Sunday day after tomorrow is Sunday after after 225 days days what is the day what is the day so this is a no they given now day after tomorrow now coming to the day after tomorrow present what is it today here first you find out the today today tomorrow tomorrow day after tomorrow day after tomorrow is given the question is day after tomorrow so in this given day after tomorrow what is the day Sunday so in this one Sunday is given ok now what is the today so Sunday nothing but the one day back that is a Saturday Saturday now today nothing but Friday so day after tomorrow is Sunday now today is so today is Friday so after how many days you want 225 days you want 225 divided by 7 7 3 is a 21 so 15 so 7 2 is a 14 1 is a reminder so 
one is reminder nothing but again today is friday so friday plus one day is equal to friday plus one day is equal to now friday plus one day saturday okay this is a type one problems when the question is given today is given tomorrow is given day after tomorrow is given two days back is given you calculated like this okay now present what is the day first you convert the present pres <coughs> today is what is the day then you find out so the question is asking in the after or after any days or after any days back so this is a concept to type one problems you solving the all the methods now see the next one type two problems now type 2 i am going to the type 2 now here days you know the days so next one is <coughs> month so i am taking the month here and again hot days so i am taking here month month and hot days now see here now january is total 12 months are there in that one month now january 31 days february so suppose 28 or 29 suppose leap year it contain 29 days now again march so april so now here 31 days 30 April, May 31, June 30, July 31, August also 31, September, October, November and December. Now, this is the one table. Now I am taking the, so here 30, 30, 31 and 30 and 31, 30, 31 days. So here, now hard days, how to find out again? Your January contain 31 days, 31 divided by 7. Now 7, 4 is 28, what is the remainder? 3. So here, when it will comes january 31 days now the odd days is three odd days now again march 31 days also is it now you take again reminder is reminder is three here may three so here july august october december this is the three odd days now coming to the <coughs> now 30 days now coming to the 30 days divided by 7, 7 for the 28, now remainder is 2. Now here 30, now 2 hard days, 2 hard days, 2 hard days, 2 hard days. Now one more is, now February is there. This is the ordinary year, in the ordinary year contain 28 days in the February. This is the leap year contain 29 days, one day is extra. So, now here the 28 divided by 7, again you take the 28 divided by 7, 7 for the 28, remainder is 0. So, now ordinary year you always take the 0, here leap year one day extra. So, this is the, now this is the type 2 problem, how to find out this one, now January contain like this and so on. Now, one more is there in that one. This is the month table is over. So, next one is now century table. See the century table. Now, century contain 100 years. Century contain 100 years. Now, in 100 years, how many hard days are there here? Same procedure now, but here this is the century. Now, in century contain, now 24 leap years, 
76 non leap years this is called as a non leap this is called as a leap this is the leap so in a century contain now century in century 24 leap years are there 76 ordinary years are there in leap year contain how many odd days year leap year contain <coughs> leap year contain two odd days how can get the two odd days here now see here ordinary year nothing but ordinary year is equal to 365 days 365 days now 365 divided by 7 is equal to 52 weeks completed remaining is one day extra so this is called as a odd day so extra day now when the ordinary year contain one day is the extra one day extra and suppose i am taking the leap year leap year so 366 days now divided by 7 52 weeks completed two extra days so one extra day this is the two extra days now now this is the leap year just your two extra days are there you multiply to again leap non leap year contain one odd in <coughs> one extra day just you multiply now for now you take like this 24 into 2 plus 76 into 1 is equal to 48 plus 76 so now here you can get 124 this is the days this now in century contain 124 days but we are finding in the hard days hard days nothing but divided by 124 divided by 7 is equal to the remainder is 5 so now see the remainder is 5 or not 224 divided by 7 7 ones are 7 again now you are 54 now 7 7 are 49 so your 5 is the remainder so that 5 nothing but a century contain 5 odd days a century contain 5 odd days now i am taking the century table in the below here now century now again odd days now century nothing but 5 odd days suppose i am taking the 200 century 200 century here 200 nothing but 5 plus 5 10 so 10 now 200 and example i am taking here 200 can be written as 5 plus 5 so is equal to 10 greater than 7 so 10 greater than 7 nothing but remainder is 3 here divided by 10 divided by is equal to remainder is 3 now 200 century 3 odd days now I am taking the 300 century now 1 odd day again 10 plus 10 plus 10 now 300 is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 5 15 divided by 7 1 is the remainder now 400 now 400 nothing but 400 5 into 4 20 so here this is the leap year of the century so this is the leap year of the century nothing but your plus 1 will be added so 21 divided by 7 is equal to remainder 0 why i am adding here plus 1 this is the leap year so leap year nothing but one day is a extra now this is the 0 now century table i am going to the century table <laughs> now Again, this is the 400, 0, 500, 5, 600, 3, 700 and 800. Like this, this is the again repetition. Now, I am coming to the 1600, 0 here. Why? 400, 0, every leap year of the century is the 0 because 1600 is 0. Now, <coughs> this is the first table, this is the second table, this is the third table. Now we are going to the solving problem. These three tables will be a need solving the type 2 problems. Now see the type 2 problems. What are there in the type 2 problems? Now 
Now type two problems. Problem number one. Now in nine we got in now in ninety forty seven in ninety forty seven August fifteenth August fifteenth what was the day what was the day what was the day this is the my question now type number two question number one now see this now 1947 august 15th what was the day now coming to this one now you know the century table so you know the 1900 year so now just write down here what is the nine can be written as like this 1900 plus 46 years plus january 1 2 now still up to august 15th august 15th now now i am going to the 1900 year see the 1900 century table you know the 1900 here 400 zero here 5678001200 zero 1200 zero 1600 zero 1718 19 1900 how many days are there here 1900 contain only one not day so this is the one in 46 years how many leap years are there how many non leap years are there now how many leap years nothing but every 4 years contain a leap year it is divisible by 4 now it is divisible by 4 now it divisible by 4 now 4 ones are 4 4 ones are 4 so 11 leap years 4 ones are 4 4 1 now see the 46 divided by 4 4 ones are 4 4 ones are 4 Now this is how many leap years? Eleven leap years are there. Now eleven leap years, forty-six minus eleven. Now it will comes nine leap years, thirty-five nine leap years are there. So total is forty-six. Thirty-five plus eleven, forty-six. But here according to the our question, forty-six years in eleven leap years, thirty-five nine leap years. So just you multiply this one. Now leap year contain what two hard days? Ordinary year contain one hard day. Now, now 1900 nothing but 1900 nothing but one hard day plus 11 into 22. 11 into 2 22 plus 35 into 1 35 is equal to now 58. Now, 1946 over here. Now, coming to the January. Now, January to August. Now, January to August, nothing but August 15th. I want August 31st, not August 15th. I want in this table. See the table. Now, August 15th. August 15th divided by seven. The remainder is one year. Still, you are calculated like this. Now. January first to August. Now see the first problem. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. August fifteenth. I am taking August fifteenth by seven. Remainder is one. Now here January. How many are days are there? See the table. January three. February now February 46 is a leap year or ordinary year check it so is a 46 is a ordinary year so ordinary year so this is the zero so now the day is 28 now zero now March 31st 31st nothing but three odd days April 2 April 2 May 3 now again June June 2. July also three. August now this is the August is one. August why I am calculating August fifteen. So up to fifteen August fifteen. So fifteen divided by seven. Now remainder is one. Total calculated one three plus four, three one plus three four six nine eleven seventeen. Total is seventeen. Now year fifty eight year seventeen. Now. 
now here total I am adding 58 this is the 1946 this is the first part I am taking this is the second part both I will be added so 1 plus 2 is equal to what 58 plus 17 is equal to now <coughs> 75 so 75 this is the 75 days 75 days now I want the odd days so I want odd days nothing but what again 55 divided by 7 the remainder is 5 7 tens the 70 remainder is 5 year so nothing but now 5 nothing but the day fall on Friday <coughs> now this is the <coughs> now type 2 problem number 1 see here only the concept is there here so 1947 is given August 15th what was the day so now this is the 1900 plus 46 this is the complete year so this is a complete year you take complete year the fourth one this is a, now this is the January to August 15th the date of birth, the running year not this is the August now December 31st not completed so this is I am taking the second part now I am explaining the problem once again in 19th century contain is a one hour day see the century table one hour day now 46 nothing but how many leap years are there how many non leap years are there now 11 leap years and 35 non leap years are there the leap year contain two odd days then multiply and 35 is one odd day multiply total will be 58 this is the up to still 1946 now again january to august 15th you calculated what is the, you know the table of <coughs> month table so january to august 15th now 17 days total will be 75 days the days is greater than the 7 so 75 days greater than the 7 so that's why 75 divided by 7 now 5 is the the day fall on friday I see one more best example now this is the first problem now type 2 second problem <coughs> 